hip up, hip is Pilates and stretch. This is our standing ring workout. So let's start by standing in parallel with our feet underneath us. We're gonna take some nice rib cage breathing. So as you breathe in, you want your lungs to expand out to the sides. And then as you exhale, your lungs come in and your diaphragm pulls up. The ring is gonna help you feel that because you're gonna bring it up against your sternum. You're pressing in as you take your inhale, which is gonna make you move out to the sides a little bit more. So I wanna stack one hand on top of the other. Inhale and exhale. So I'm doing my Pilates breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Good, let's do one more. And release it down. Step to your Pilates feet. So heels together, toes apart, pretty narrow. Feel your feet pressing down, your heels and your sit bones zipping in. Let's practice our hundreds breath using our ring. So you're gonna inhale two, three, four, five, and out two, three, four, five. Your lungs, your breath is a percussive pattern and your arms are nice and smooth. So try to get the variety and the difference in your body really clear. So ready and Next time we'll hover and stay. Keep your heels slightly off the floor. Bend your knees, keep your turn out, and just take a little demi plie here. Now squeeze those heels together, feel that lift through your pelvic floor to come up nice and high again. Keep those heels off the whole time. Inhale and exhale. I'm really focused on going straight up and down. It's tempting to hinge forward to go a little bit lower, but that's not as good for you as this. Let's do one more. Sit 
Send those heels down again. Turn your legs to parallel, but keep the ring where it is. Now we're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we press into the ring, stabilize through our pelvis, and we're going to arc through our spine and take a nice sense of extension. And inhale, center. Exhale, press into the ring, get taller, and think of your spine being like a rainbow, arcing up and back behind. Let's think about leading with the crown of our head as we ground our feet, as opposed to our chin. So your spine is one nice long line. Staying connected to that core the whole time. And let's do one more. And Good, let's take a nice knee bend here again. So take a plie. Now we're gonna hinge at our hips. So pressing into the ring helps me slide my sit bones back. And then I bring myself to an upright position again. I press the floor away and I stand up nice and tall. I feel my knees biting over my big toes. I press into the ring and I slide my sit bones back. Now I think about bringing my tailbone and my sacrum forward into the ring. Brings me to an upright position on my torso, and then I press the floor away with my feet. And knees glide forward, hinge it back, bring it upright, stand up nice and tall. And you could inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Getting a nice sense of rhythm once you get the movements going is nice. One more time. Hinge and stay. Press into the ring just a little bit more and really feel that connection into your core. Now come up half an inch with those legs and then think of sliding your sit bones back and sinking down a little bit deeper. And inhale. And exhale, sit bones back, knees and shins forward over your big toes. And inhale. And exhale. One more time. Bring your torso to upright, stand up nice and tall, and release. I'm going to turn to face the side, but you should stay facing forward. For our next exercise, we're going to try to get our head to come back a little bit and up. So I want you to see it from the side so you can see that I'm bringing it back as opposed to dipping my chin down or up. So the goal is to stay level and bring the back of your head into the ring and then think of floating up towards the sky. So I take the hand, inside handle of the ring and I cup it around my occipital ridge where my spine comes up into my skull. My hands are up in the ring. Find a position that feels okay to you. We're not really pressing forward, we're just stabilizing the ring and meeting the resistance when our head presses back. So you inhale and as you exhale, very gently slide your head into the ring, back behind you and then think of lifting up. And inhale. And exhale, let it come back. And up, keep going. Inhale. And exhale. So I'm still activating my core when I exhale. That's going to help me get taller. Feel the tips of the ears floating up to the sky at the same time. Let's take one more. And we're going to hold. So keep that press back. Meet that resistance with your hands. And just take three deep breaths. Try to get taller and taller. And then let it release down. And roll your shoulders a few times. Okay. Bring your feet a little bit wider. Knees slightly bent. Bring the ring up against the base of your rib cage. So you should have the handle of the ring on bone and not muscle. I'm thinking of hugging the ring, so I'm not resting on top. I'm hugging in and keeping my knees bent. And I'm just going to take some very gentle rotation here. Think of hugging that ring and try to imagine that you're creating the rotation from your back. And that's where you're moving from. The goal is to keep your pelvis stable and square. So I'm not moving my hips with me as I go. I'm keeping them facing forward. 
and front center. Now we're going to do that same thing with a little bit more intention with our Pilates breath. So inhale to get taller. Exhale, squeeze in on the ring slightly. And rotate. Inhale back to center. And other side, exhale and rotate. Inhale, exhale. One more each way. Back to center and down. Now let's get rid of our ring for a moment. We're going to find the actions of the shoulder that we're going to practice first. So bring your arms out in front of you. Try to get your thumbs lower than your armpits and your shoulders. And just shrug your shoulders up and down. Now your shoulder blades were designed to glide freely along the back surface of your rib cage. It's nice to imagine a bar of soap going up and down your rib cage. And then so you can go forward and back with those shoulder blades. It's okay for other things to move, but make sure you're not initiating from your rib cage to make this happen. And find center. Now can you keep everything else still and just move your hands? And center. So don't let your shoulders or your eyes go with you. Try to keep your focus forward. Try that one more time each way. And release it down. Give it a shake. Same movements, adding some resistance. So you put your arms inside the ring and find a nice stable position. Make sure your thumbs are below your armpits. Try to lengthen through your wrists. So I'm not pressing out very hard. It's already going to be quite challenging to go through this whole series. I'm standing up nice and tall, I'm connected to my core, and I start by inhaling to strike my shoulders up, and exhale down, I think I'm getting taller through the crown of my head as my shoulder blades go down, and inhale up, and exhale down, Find the place that feels like the middle. Now, shoulder blades come together and apart. And think of pinching somebody's hands between your shoulder blades and apart. You can also think of your shoulder blades gliding around and in towards each other, especially the bottom half. And then forward. Make sure you're still breathing, soft and easy in your jaw. Let's do one more. Find the place that feels like the middle and stable again. Now inhale. As you exhale, keep your arms straight. Think about your upper arms pressing out against the ring, but keep your neck and jaw soft and easy. And inhale. And exhale. Keep the length in your fingertips. Make sure your arms aren't starting to float up to the sky. And next time, press out and hold. Just one more thing. Move those arms without moving anything else. You might be feeling quite a burn in those shoulders by now, and that's okay. Rest when you need to, or just don't press out as hard on the ring. Let's do one more each way. Find center, and release it down. And roll those shoulders. You can give your arms a nice little bit of a shake. Okay, next we're going to focus into our lats. So you really want to feel your wing muscle connecting your shoulder blade down into your pelvis. You also can think of your armpit as narrowing for this one. So I bring the ring to the outside of my pelvis and slightly forward on a diagonal. I'm standing on one foot, my other foot's back behind me. Both feet pressed down into the ground and I feel a lift up through my core. I have the heel of my hand connecting to the handle of the ring here. I inhale through my nose. I exhale through my mouth, hollow through the belly, and take a gentle squeeze on the ring. So I should feel this waking up. The goal is to keep this relaxed at the same time. Inhale, and exhale. Now if it's hard to feel that, inhale, exhale. You can bring your fingers around and palpate and try to feel the muscle working underneath your fingertips. If it's hard for you to relax, bring your hand up here and just try to feel that sensation underneath your hand. Let's take one more. Keep 
that press. Now just gently move to one side. And then the other. Look up to the sky. Look down at the floor. Look back to center. And release. Bring both feet underneath you. Take a deep breath. Now, I'm keeping the ring where it is. I'm picking up that same foot this time. My free hand is going to go to the outside of my hip. And I don't mean your pelvis, your hip bone. I mean where your thigh bone connects into your pelvis here. If this is really challenging balance-wise, you can let your toe rest on the floor. As I inhale, I'm going to shift my weight out into my hand, keeping my legs straight. And as I exhale, I press down into the ring, and I press in with my pelvis, and I get to hike my hip up just a little bit. And inhale out. And exhale, bring it in and up. So I should feel some activity through here. Inhale and exhale. We're remembering to work down here more than up in here. One more. And release it down, put that foot down. Let's do the whole other side. So ring comes up against the outside of your pelvis and slightly forward, heel of your hand connects in. I'm standing on the same foot that the ring's connected to and then bring my other foot back behind me. Press down into your feet, feel the lift underneath your sit bone and up in your core, staying relaxed, soft and easy in your jaw. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Press into that ring, narrow through the armpit and get taller at the same time and inhale. And exhale. If you want to bring your hand up to make sure you're staying relaxed, that's okay. One more. Press and hold. Now, just gently turn your nose to one side, and then the other. Look up to the sky. Look down to the floor. Back to center, and release. Bring your foot underneath you. Stay up nice and tall. Keep the ring where it is. Pick up your other foot. Free hand goes to the outside of your pelvis. Keep your standing leg straight and shift your pelvis out to the side. Now exhale, press in here and here, and stand up as tall as you can. And inhale, remember you can touch your toe down if you need to. Work your Pilates breath, feel your connection into your standing foot. Good, one more time. And release and bring both feet underneath you. Just take a nice deep breath. Let's bring the ring between our lower legs, just above our ankle bones. Now find a spot that feels okay for you. I don't recommend putting on lotion right before you try doing this exercise. And if you have long pants on, you might want to pull them up so you get skin to handle contact, as it were. Feel your feet underneath you. Feel your legs in a nice, sturdy, parallel position. So I'm not turned out, I'm not turned in. I'm trying to be right in the middle. I'm going to shift my weight and ideally lift my foot off the floor and keep my balance. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, squeeze in. And shift up and over, squeeze and hold. Inhale, put that foot down. Exhale, shift up and over to the other side. Notice how I'm trying to go straight to the side. I'm even thinking up and over just a little bit. Inhale and exhale. So we're not leaning like the Tower of Pisa. I'm staying tall.
Next time we'll shift instead. Keeping both legs straight, pulse in on that ring and squeeze and hold. Try to keep that foot off the floor if you can. Now find a spot right in front of your eye level or slightly above, something stable, and circle your arms from front to back. Make sure you're still breathing. If you want more of a challenge, you can let one arm lead. And we'll place it down. Other side, shift up and over. Find your spot and pulse in. I'm trying to get taller and taller. Squeeze and hold, circle from back to front. Let your eyes help you. So look at something stable and keep your focus there. Try to keep your foot off the floor, but if you need to touch it down, that's okay. And leave with one arm if you can. And we'll place both feet down. Okay, let's step into the center of the ring. Working both sides of the legs evenly. Again, I'm above my ankles. I'm still in parallel. I'm going to think of shifting up and over. So inhale, exhale, shift up and over, and press out on the ring with both legs at the same time. Inhale down, and exhale, shift and balance. Let's stay soft and easy up in here. Now most of us have a turn, tendency to turn our foot out as we go on this one, so I like to think of leading my heel out more than my big toe. If you're not sure where you're supposed to be working, you can also put your hands on the outsides of your hips. Next time I'll shift and stay. I'm going to find my balance again. Now bring your arms out to the sides. Flex through the heels of your hands and circle one way. Reverse and go the other way. And replace that foot. Pick up your other foot. Find your spot. And think of picking up with those fingers and wrists and circle one way. And reverse and go the other way. And replace it down. Now step out of the ring. Feel free to give your legs a little bit of a shake. Should feel quite awake right now. All right, in our next exercise, we're gonna do some chest expansion and you'll feel a little bit of work in the back of your shoulders from your triceps. I'm focusing on keeping my shoulders rolled open as opposed to curved in, rolled open, and I'm trying to keep my elbows in while my ribs stay soft. So that's quite a challenge already, and it's not a big movement. So as I inhale, I get taller, and as I exhale, I press in gently with my hands, and I don't move much, but you're going to feel a lot of sensation. So you inhale, and exhale. Inhale, just like we were working on earlier, you can think of squeezing your shoulder blades together and then bring your elbows in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, stay soft and easy in your neck and jump. One more. And then release it down. Okay, last thing, we're gonna step into the ring. Just below your knees, so a little bit higher than before. We're going to take some nice full body squats. Range of motion is up to you. You do get to hinge forward like we did at the, one of the beginning exercises. So you slide your sit bones back, you reach your arms forward, and your knees glide out over your big toes. Press the floor away. Inhale to get taller. And exhale. Slide those sit bones back. Reach your arms forward. And inhale. And exhale. Might feel like you get deeper and deeper. That's good. Two more. 
Lengthening through sit bones back, knees and shins forward. And last one. And standing nice and tall. And let's get rid of our ring. Put it down on the floor. Stand up nice and tall. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. Exhale, let them float down. Tips of the ears up. Give your hands a little bit of a shake. And you're done.